Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do water adjustments in the new Beersmith web. Uh, you can get to your Beersmith web profile uh, just by logging in at BeersmithRecipes.com. In this case, I'm dial I'm logged into a uh, to a trial version. I'm actually running the trial version here, uh, and all I have to do is go to the Beersmith Recipes homepage, log in, and click on the recipe editor here. Gets me to my recipe editor. I'm going to open up one of my pre-existing recipes. We're going to work with this Great Lakes Porter here. Um, this is the design tab where you actually build a recipe. Uh, you can see this recipe is pre-built, but I haven't added the water yet or done any water profile adjustments. So that's what I'm going to demo here. I do have separate videos if you want to watch for um, covering the design tab and many of the other tabs. So I'm going to go to the water tab and work from there in this particular recipe. I'm going to start by adding my base water profile, which I have pre-loaded here. It's Brad's base water here. And if you look at the top, you can see the total water needed uh, for this recipe is 17.79 gallons. I'm working with a 10-gallon uh, system, actually. So I can add the water up there, and it'll show me my base water profile uh, here. And you can see my water uh, comes from a well. It's actually pretty plain stuff. Um, if I had harder water, though, I could, for example, blend uh, or dilute my water with uh, distilled water. And I could put a mix of waters up here. I could put, for example, 10 gallons of my water and 5 gallons of distilled water. And it would com combine those two and give me uh, the combined profile here and the base profile. So, so it is pretty flexible. You can actually mix different types of water if you want right in the system. Um, anyways, it, to adjust this water, since this is a very plain water, I want to adjust it for the putter I'm brewing. I have the option to add salts manually, so I can go in and annually, manually pick uh, calcium chloride, chalk, and so on, and add the amount that I want. Or I, much easier is to use the match profile tool. And the match profile tool, uh, what it does is it allows me to choose a target water profile, and then it does a least squares fit against that, starting in with my base profile. So for example, if I choose a target profile here, um, let's look up a porter one. So if I choose a target profile for a porter style of beer, I can click on that. And you can see uh, it's got the profile here, and of course I can adjust that if I want. Um, I have the option to exclude chalk. Some people don't like working with chalk because it's not very soluble. Uh, so I have that option as well. I can click that and it'll make an adjustment. Um, and then I can also merge my mash and sparge water salts depending on what I'm doing. In this case, I'm working with the brew and bag system. Brew in a bag style system. It's a brew easy system. Uh, so I don't really have separate mash and, and sparge salts. Um, anyways, it'll calculate the mash additions. It'll also show me how close it came to the original water profile. And there are some limitations here. Anytime I add a salt, uh, like gypsum, it's going to add at least two different ions to the water. So there's never going to be a perfect match here, but the least squares fit is going to get me as close as I can. So instead of, for example, 141 up here, I've got 134 down here. Um, another very important limitation is you can't take away ions by adding salts. So for example, if you're working with a hard water base profile that has a lot of ions in it, and your target profile has a number that's smaller than that, you're never going to be able to reduce that by just adding more ions to or more salts to the water. You actually will have to go back and, and dilute the base water profile with something like RO water or perhaps distilled water in order to get back where you want to be. Um, in any case, if I push OK, you can see now that it's actually calculated all the salts and it's added them uh, to my ingredients list. And in fact, if I would go back to the design tab, you can see not only the water profile shows up, but all the water salts that I've added uh, in this in this thing to match the water profile are, are shown here and I also see my adjusted water profile down here at the bottom and my final water profile and all the analysis on that so I can look at the alkalinity and the hardness residual alkalinity uh, sulfate to chloride ratio which will tell me what the uh, the malt balance for example is whether it's a malty balance or a, uh, a balance more towards the bitter side um, so I can get a really good idea uh, down here of what my final water profile looks like um, so those are some of the tools available for playing with water profiles in, in Beersmith, uh, the new Beersmith web. Uh, these same tools are available on Beersmith desktop, and you can access uh, this same tool from your Beersmith um, web uh, browser using your mobile device. So for example, I could log in uh, from a phone and do the same thing, or log in from a tablet and do the same sorts of things. Um, 
So that's basically it. All I have to do now is, uh, is push OK. It'll save that recipe and all those water profiles are built in there. And of course this feeds into the other tabs that are shown in the recipe. So for example, if I want to go now play with my mash profile or play with, uh, uh, for example, the mash pH, all of these water uh, calculations are fed into that calculation. So one more tip I do recommend that if you're going to be playing with water profiles, it's really the last thing you should be doing when you're adjusting your recipe because for example, if I play with a grain bill, uh, it's going to change the amount of water that's needed for the recipe. So what I usually do is I'll build a recipe and then I will use, make my water adjustments and even my mash pH adjustments, which are covered in a separate video. I will make those at the very end, generally the very last step before I go to brew. Um, so that's some tips on using the water tab in the new Beersmith web. Uh, for more tips, of course, you can go to beersmith.com. And you can go to beersmithrecipes.com if you want to try this tool out. Uh, you can get a free 30-day trial just by signing up at beersmithrecipes.com. Thank you very much for listening. I uh, appreciate it.